What's wrong with you? I love God. You love God. What's wrong with you? Love him, I love him. Love him, I love Love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Love, love him, love him, I love him. Welcome back everyone. I am Garabo Lechao and if you don't know that you haven't watched the last video of the interview so start there. <laughs> Welcome back guys. This is part two season two. Yes and we are back with an update of what we did the last time. <laughs> okay let's start with something simple. How are you? Oh last time this was hard but i'm good now i am so good i'm happy i'm blessed i am grateful i'm just good i'm yeah how are you <laughs> it's been forever it it's been it's been forever okay um it's been a year since we shot the first the interview yeah what has changed from then until now Oh, a lot, like everything. <laughs> uh, a lot has changed. I think as it should. A lot of growth has happened, which is my favorite thing, to be honest. Like I feel like every time I open my mouth, I'm talking about growth and maturity and just learning. So a lot of growth has happened with the time that has gone by. We've grown, we've matured, we've become better, and yeah, that's changed, I guess. I wouldn't know how to like break it down. If I break it down, we're gonna be here for two years. <laughs> we're gonna be here for two years, so. How has your 2021 been? It's been, it's been life changing for the better, for great, you know. Uh, 2021, sorry, um, has been what the Bible regards as edifying it's just been edifying after everything you know how like i was just just growth upon growth like just good things happening they don't come as good things perspective <laughs> you know when you get better when you're made better it's like a what's this word you know the way gems are made they are shaped and how you know all of the fire that happens 2021 has been filled with so much of that fire and um with the right perspective i can happy to confirm that it's been amazing it's been edifying it's made me better i am better today than i was yesterday and i know i'm gonna be better next week than i am today oh wow that's good <laughs> that's great i'm glad to hear yeah. that um share <laughs> your lowest moment of 2021 oh man <laughs> is it low if it made something out of me like i don't know my perspective has completely changed i don't want to lie to you i do not see things the same way that i used to and i i've come to learn that perspective is a great deal lowest moments um jeez I like a personal <laughs> personal moments that I cannot go into <laughs> those edifying moments they were lit they were hectic they were intense but they did something I, I can't stay in the low because like of the obsession that I have with what comes with the low like it's, it's now I've come to understand the law as a process of something or like something that comes with it and because now I just don't stay in the law I, you know it's like it's there's a lot of heat that's happened there's a lot of challenges that have happened there's been a lot of fire I like to I regard certain things as just like you know but there's been a lot of challenging moments I've had my own uh, I really can't go into it but there have been those that are quite intense but because of how i've learned i've come to learn to see things now ah uh, man are they even lows they were like a you know you you know when you get attacks and you know that something is coming from this like i i'm expecting like it's it's lit right now i may cry right now 
but I know something is coming after this. So I'm not, I don't stay in the lows. I, I've learned to not to stay there. So, yeah. Okay, then how have you invested in yourself this week? How have, how have I invested in myself this week? Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe that's one of the lows. I actually neglect myself sometimes. <laughs> I neglect myself, so I am hesitant to say that I neglect myself sometimes. I forget about myself sometimes because like I am so obsessed with like everything that's happening. I want to be present for everything and you know and just get it right and get my lessons and get my input and then I forget about myself. How have I invested in myself this week? I bought myself a bottle of wine when I was tired. <laughs> I got myself a bottle of Sue Blanc and I was happy that I, yeah, maybe I don't forgive myself so much. You yeah, know, that's good. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a question I actually asked you last year. Uh oh. You <laughs> What's the one thing you know for sure? What's the one thing I know for sure? That all things are working for my good. All of them. The good, the bad, the painful, the ugly, the, the stunning. You know, it's very easy to receive the nice stuff. But literally, all of it. As sure as I am that the sun will come up tomorrow morning, that's how sure I am that every challenge that comes my way is for my good. Like, I've come to I, I, I feel I've learned that forgiveness is an ongoing journey. It's an ongoing process where you think you've forgiven a part of your inner child, like something that's happened a while ago or parts of yourself that you were not easy with. And then you realize, yeah, I can stay some more. Let me stay here because I'm still triggered. I need to stay here some more. So I am learning that the forgiveness as I grow, the depth of the forgiveness uh, grows itself. So what I may have forgiven with my understanding back then is different now with the understanding I have now. So it's, it's like a revaluation of who I am all the time. Like uh, the places that hurt, you know, like the parts of me that still shy away, part those I'm forgiving. I'm forgiving and I keep learning that I cannot get to a point where I'm fully forgiven because there's just always something that's just always, you know, with more understanding, I get to understand that it's not as little as I thought it was. It's not exactly what I thought it was, you know, like with more time and experience around certain things, uh, thoughts also, you know, because like I said, perspective has changed everything. With the change of perspective, you start to see things differently. I was healing the, what do you call it? The, no, the, 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 the not the cause of the pain. I was, the symptom of the pain, yes. I was healing the symptom of the pain, but with more understanding, I'm starting to understand where the cause is, you know? And then you go deeper. And it's the same thing, like I said, it's like the same thing that with more understanding, you just go back and you're like okay this hurts i'm gonna stay here some more because all things work for my good how's your relationship oh my gosh ah! <laughs> oh wow oh i am in love can you tell i'm a gone girl i'm like a gone jesus girl like i am gone gone um funny enough i think around this time last year i was not so I'm like recently born again. <laughs> I am recently born again and oh my god, I am in love with who God is, with what God is, with what he has done, with what he continues to do, with oh, I'm in love. I'm a gone girl. Like I'm seriously just gone. You can't change your mind. Okay, so wait, take us back. How did you become born again? Ah, oh, my goodness. It's these fires that I'm telling you about. Okay. These fires that make you understand that 
I understood that if a battle is bigger than I am, then it's not mine. So I had to figure out whose it is. I had to understand whose fight is this supposed to be because I mean it's not mine. I mean if it was mine I'd be gone. You know? Um I have oh, it's just like there's a lot of little things, like little things that just got together and I'm like, actually I haven't kept myself. If I was in charge of me, I'd be gone right now. If I was you know, like it's just I think that's how it started. Where I started to say, I did not want God to be real, but He is. I did not want to believe in the in grace. But it's it's there. It goes ahead of me, it comes behind me, it goes with me. All the time it's there. It's the reason I'm here today. So that's how it started and yeah. How do you want to end 2021? Or how do you, um, yeah, when, when you look back on the 31st of December, how do you envision that to be? Girl, more glory upon glory, more of that grace, more of, I, I want, like I said, you know, um, I'm better today than I was yesterday. I'll be better tomorrow than I am today. So I want to, there are like physical things that I want to have and I want to achieve and do in the physical space. But more than anything, I just want to look back and say, ah, what? actually, because I'm good, I, I've come to understand that my, how, how happy I am right now is attached to the way my spiritual life has changed. So I want more of that change, more of that growth, more of that understanding that comes with knowing that I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. So the more understanding there is there, the easier my human experience becomes. The I've come to learn that like the physical things, like you know, the achievements. I mean, those are amazing, but that's not where that's not like the ultimate thing that I want. I want them those gifts in the Bible, you know those those ones? Those are the ones I want because there's this this morning I learned a difference between uh chasing God and chasing your goals or your yeah. So when I look back to into 2021 at the end of it. I want to see more growth in my spiritual life because I know that would mean my environment has changed too. So it's nothing physical. It's nothing. I mean, there are there. There are important life things that I am working on as we speak. But I don't do that on my own. Like I, I know where to go to get that. You know, I know who to talk to. You know, to get that. And that is like the. What's the difference? Oh man, where are these words going? It's like the... the that's not, it's not, it's not grace. It's, it's a... It's like, you know, just blessings for the favored ones. You know, you know, those are just that. But I want to, I want to do works. Like, uh, you shouldn't have started this conversation. <laughs> you really should not have. Because, wow, I am, I'm in love with God. I'm in love with Jesus. Um, I'm in love with the Holy Spirit. I am in love with what is happening in my life right now. So it's not... <laughs> it's not... I can't explain it. I will learn how to explain it, part three. This is me guaranteeing my space, my spot, again. Bam. <laughs> Yeah. Um, with that said, what are you undoing in this journey that you're in now? Ah, oh, so much. So much. What am I unlearning that I know? I really don't. <laughs> I, I am on a cons constant or consistent, like I'm every day, I am unlearning that I know what things are. 
I know why they are, I know how they are. I am learning that I really don't know. And I like being an open book that needs to be written in. I have my writer, I have my, my author now. Because now I've come to understand myself, I now have someone who can write in this book and tell me what things are. Even things that I thought I knew, I've come to learn that I don't. So I am really unlearning that I know, because I don't. <laughs> okay. Um, this has been a much more lively conversation. I know. <laughs> Last time was hard. I think perspective. Last time you are in a fire and you see it as fire and you feel it as fire. But now you're in a fire and you know, oh, something is like, so, you know, I'm being refined. You know, you know, Refiner by Maverick City. I uh, I don't like the lyrics because I don't want to be tried by no fire no more. <laughs> I am okay with that fire. <laughs> but I, I appreciate when I get it and I appreciate when I experience it because I know something is happening. Something is attached to it. Something is happening. So, yeah. Final question. <laughs> How would you describe that? How would I describe Karabo? I have a word. Becoming. Um, I think last time I said sunshine. See, I knew then. I don't know. I understand that Karabo is constantly becoming. And with every season, I am whatever I have to be in that season. As according to my writer, my anchor, not just anybody. You know, so Garabo is a living testimony. Let's start there. I wish you really hadn't gone there because now I can't get out. Garabo is a living testimony. She is constantly learning and unlearning, becoming and unbecoming. Um, I'm just a very present child of God, the, the plans that He's doing for me and that He has for me. And I'm still finding my identity in God. That's another thing. I don't, I can't describe her fully. I am getting to know her every single day. And I like who she's becoming. I don't know who she is right now, but she is someone different from the last time. I like who she's becoming. I like, I like finding my identity in God. Cause like I said, this is all new to me. This is a whole new Garabo from the last time, to be honest. So I can't fully put to words who she is now. But I know that she's becoming constantly, consistently, every day, all day, something is happening. That's who she is. I love it. <laughs> I love it for you. I love the change. I love Thank the Thank you. You've, you're a different human being. Um, <laughs> The new you were in Russia. I love this girl that's in front of you. Thank you. Um, you seem happier. You seem more peace. And I'm happy. Like seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you. That's why. See, that's what's supposed to. Also, I've learned something. I'm so sorry. I've learned. If you really look at this, when you're happy, you want to share the happiness. When you're not happy, you retreat. Right, you, you, you just retweet. So, this is something about you. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this up. I don't know. I'm gonna stop. But like, this says something about you that ah, oh, Lord, you, you know you have to finish your sentence. I, it's just so beautiful that you see what you see because it's a reflection of something that's in you you recognize something and it's something that you do for others and that's why you're i mean i think it makes sense <laughs> you have to make it make sense don't want to. you are seeing a, you're seeing a reflection of yourself i've come to learn that people um always are mirrors or actually there are mirrors 
either of who you are or what you're not but you are able to see who and what you are or not with people i think that's that's how we learn we keep growing we because of this mirror that's why we're not meant to be alone and i'm not just speaking in certain dimensions i mean all around them my friend said recently um a man is not an island on his own something like that i don't know uh, something like that so this interaction is a mirror that that tells you you're doing the right thing or maybe reverse that you know bring it back or reflect maybe if you see something that is not you and you like if it's not you then let's have this conversation some more you know tell me your your anchor tell me your source i so people what you see is what you do how i feel right now that's what i think because i've gotten that way with you you know i lost my mind very recently because of you i'm like yeah Yes. I'm done. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to the next one. Thank you for having me, and I do too. <laughs> I'm excited for everything. I am so excited. Thank you for having me. Thank you for inviting me. And also thank you for like these moments, because like I feel like these are conversations that I, I probably should have had with myself. Or that way inside, but I had not gone outside. So now I get to hear where I'm at. Now I get to understand who I am, what I am, because I haven't asked myself who Karabo is. But this again was a reflection. So I'm grateful for this moment. And yeah, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you.